American ingenuity is alive and well in the field of recreation. Whether it's driving, spinning, or diving, some people are never to be outdone. Brian Mahoney cruises the streets of San Francisco in style. It's a kind of a thing like a Rolls Royce. You just want to drive it on Sundays. The motorized motorini is not your average Sunday driver. It's fun, but uh, it's a little radicaler than a regular skateboard because when you go into turns, you got to figure the wheel that's driving when you lean to your right. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna not drive as much. And when you lean to your left, it's, you're leaning on the drive wheel, so you're gonna really pick up speed going around corners. Straight out ground, it'll hit 25. On uh, just a, maybe a slant, it'll do about 20. You know, but maybe even slower. I need not, to stop. Well, you actually you don't. <laughs> you just let compression do its job to slow you down. And uh, that's why I have a parachute also. This just helps slow me down when I go too fast. And when I want to pick up speed, I pull it back in, tuck it in my pouch, and I'm off again. Dr. Thomas Kuhn may pull teeth for a living, but his main interest is in pulling strings. He made the world's largest yo-yo and manufactures one that's easy to handle. I started turning yo-yos in, in my wood shop and I, I realized that what the world needed was really a superior yo-yo. The reason this yo-yo is so unique is because it's made of uh, fine eastern hard rock maple. It's modular, you can dismantle it, you can unscrew it. And for anyone that's yo-yoed and had a knot in their yo-yo, uh, they know how frustrating it is to, to get the knot out. Well, I started out yo-yoing in between dental patients, actually, and I found that it was a nice way to sort of uh, unwind, if you will. A yo-yo is a little portable tool, a little portable gyroscope, which, uh, which a person can, can take out at a moment's notice when in a maybe a stressful situation or being in a, a line somewhere waiting for a bus. And they can just uh, play. Uh, the concept of building a better mousetrap or yo-yo and having the world beat a path to your door uh, is not as easy as it seems. You have to go out there and beat a path to everyone else's door. The yo-yo business may have its ups and downs, but Kuhn hit a peak when he entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest working yo-yo. We did break the world's record. The crane made it go up and down eight times. You may wonder why, and <laughs> the answer to that one is because it was there to do. It was something I wanted to, uh, to do to dramatize yo energy, which I think is something that uh, is a beneficial kind of energy in the world. Ever wonder how laid back people spend their time? Just fell in love, I'm just ecstatic. The American Revolving Theater stages living art exhibits called human dominoes or falling people. Crowd control is our specialty. It happens outside mostly because we like to work with large numbers of people. People who came, they wanted to come, they wanted to participate in this, so it was easy to work with them. And at first they want to resist and they don't want to let go of their heads and they don't want to open up and relax into it. But then as soon as they're in the wave of the whole line, that all just disappears and they're, shh, they're right there. That's coast to coast, the LA freeways, yeah. taking it overseas. San Francisco, New York. <laughs> right. It's no limitation. You've seen some jocks with a different niche. Unlike their counterparts in conventional sports, these people are competing with distinctly clever ideas rather than with sound bodies. The result is fanfare for the uncommon man. 